Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome to Sunday morning. It is pouring rain outside. When I woke up this morning, it didn't just say rain when I checked the weather. It said heavy rain. It's just battering against the window. It sounds so cold and wet outside, and I'm really not looking forward to going out in like an hour's time, but that's what's gonna happen. It's just about 10 to 6 now. I am currently exporting the vlog, and I'm about to do my thumbnail, but I figured I would start the vlog. For today now, it's, I had really weird dreams again last night. I don't know, the last couple days I've just been having crazy dreams. I can't remember them. I remembered them as soon as I woke up, but then they went away. It's a little brisk in here because it's just it's so blah outside. And um, yeah, I woke up pretty easily. I woke up at 6 and I was like, mm, five more minutes. And then I got out of bed before my alarm at 6.05. Yes, I have an alarm set like every five minutes at intervals when I want to get up. It's stupid. Yesterday, I was wondering how many alarms I had, and I count it, and I have 158 because I'm stupid. Some of them just definitely don't pertain to my life anymore, but let's see. That is the calculator. Have you ever seen like the post online where someone says that they set their alarm and they couldn't figure out why they didn't why it didn't go off, and when they woke up, they looked and they just put 800 into the calculator. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, so I have one at 12.07 a.m. that I've titled Bacon. Why? <laughs> Honestly, I think it was when I was living in Vancouver and I would work until 11 o'clock sometimes, and I must have really just wanted bacon or I needed to pull out bacon or something. And so I set an alarm for when I would knew I'd be home. I went for 2.02 a.m. Why? Actually, I have a lot. I have one, two, three, four. I have six in the 2 a.m. range. I have two in the 4 a.m. range. I have one set for 5.10 that's called Don't Forget the Dress. And it is called that because I was staying at Pam's house. This was the summer before she was supposed to get married. So I think August 2017. And... She had a she had my bridesmaid dress for her wedding because it just got sent to her because it was a lot easier if she picked it up. And so I need to remember to not leave it with her in Vancouver. So yeah, I got a lot of five o'clock ones, a lot of six o'clock, lots of seven, lots like it's just I'm trying to see if I can find turn off fans, because I need to remember to turn off the fans at work. One says cucumbers. <laughs> One says food for mile, which oh I know what this was. It's supposed to be food for Mike, but when I was puppy sitting before I had to pack up all the vegetables because he was supposed to come over and get them and he never did. Rent check? That would be from my Vancouver days. Yeah, so a lot of random alarms for no reason. <laughs> How do we even get down that tangent? I don't know. Anyway, it is just about seven so I'm going to do my thumbnail now. Maybe do a blog post or maybe make my bed and get ready for the day. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out but I'm feeling pretty good other than the weather outside. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll check in with you in a bit. So I was hoping somehow that the weather would get better between the time that I woke up and the time I had to leave. But it is just about 7.30 and it is still going strong. Ugh. Joy. Anyways, I'm ready for the day. My bed is made. My bag is there. It's pretty much packed because I usually have it mostly packed for work. I just need to put a drink in it and then we're good to go. Vlog is almost up. I've just been watching some YouTube because that's what I do in the morning. I think what I'm going to do with these last like 10 minutes of productivity that I have is I'm going to make my list for today so that when I get home I can just jump into it and be productive. That is the plan. I was thinking about doing laundry today or maybe tomorrow but with the weather because in this new place that we moved to the laundry is not in the same building because they're all like townhouses the laundry is very far away so when it's pouring rain I don't really feel like going out and doing it that's just me <laughs> anyway I'm gonna try to do that before I have to go to work so I will catch up with you later probably at work well I am happy to report that it is no longer really raining there's a giant puddle in the parking lot of the complex we live in <laughs> No, sorry, it's a small lake, it is a giant lake. There's a car parked in the middle of it, but it doesn't look like it has its insurance, so it's fine, nobody's gonna be using it anytime soon, but if they wanted to, they'd have to like, I don't know, kayak out to it. But even though it's not raining, the wind is just picking up and up and up. It was like 30K an hour when I first woke up, it's now up to 40K. So yeah, seems like a storm is arriving, but 
it's cool. I am at work now. I did not get drenched on the way out, which is exciting. I've drank way too much water already. I've already had a liter and a half. Oh, maybe a little bit too much because I also had my breakfast drink, which is like another 500 ml. So like we got like two liters of liquid sloshing around in me and um, I'm, feeling a little, I'm feeling it a little bit, but it's fine. And I'm sure it'll start to was absorb through my body and it'll be okay. So I am going to start work here in a second. It's still like, it's still five to eight. So I really don't need to start work for like another five minutes, but I'll putter anyways until then. So I will now at this point, probably check in with you after work because there's gonna be a lot of people showing up at the theater around noon. And so it's weird to pick up the camera when you're supposed to be working and other people are here. It's fine when I'm supposed to be working and nobody else is here, but again, it's not eight yet. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Okay, so I am home from work now and um, I ended up going shopping with my mom because she had to do shopping because I've mentioned it before, she shops for tugboats sometimes. So we went to the store and I picked up a new t-shirt. It's just simple, got a little pocket on here and I got it in white also. <laughs> because here's the situation i've realized as i've been getting rid of clothes to try to get into my color scheme which is like gray silver black blue and white they don't really have a lot of t-shirt t-shirts i've got a lot of sweaters and pullovers and all that kind of stuff but like no t-shirts so if you're just a nice simple t-shirt i can dress it up with like a necklace or something we good or just not or dress it down with my sweatpants like I'm currently doing. So I got those because girls gotta have shirts to wear. And then I also picked up this 10 pound kettlebell. I've been wanting to get a kettlebell for a while. Kettlebell, kettlebell. Um, and I was gonna go get my weights from the storage locker the other day but it's such a mess in there that I was like, there's no way I can get to my weights. I can see them, but I can't get to them. And I don't have a 10 pound weight anyway. So I figured this was a nice alternative until I can get in and get my weights because I want to start like pumping the iron again. I have my resistance bands too, so that'll be helpful, but I figure a free weight would be good too. And then we got this because it's my mom's boyfriend's birthday tomorrow. Shh. <laughs> and I do a to-do list every day on paper, which has been annoying me for a while because I write one out every day. So I actually found these mini dry erase boards that are pretty small. So I think they might hopefully work for me to use these instead of that. I still have a pad, but we'll try to switch focus there. And then I also got some coasters because I drink at my desk a lot, like water, pop, whatever. And um, sometimes they leak, especially my breakfast drinks. When I'm putting the lids back on, I'm usually a mess. So I got these. These were on clearance. So were the dry erase marker dudes. So yeah, that's what we're, that's what we got at the store today. I am now going to work on my Dr. Draken dude. He's coming along pretty well, I think. And also watch some YouTube while I do that. It's on my list, finishing Dr. Draken. So I'm allowed to do it. I don't have too, too much to do. I want to take some self-care today, like do a face mask and maybe do laundry because it did get nice out. There's still like a big wind warning as far as I'm aware, but it's not pouring rain. It's kind of sunny. I might actually reach out to my friend and see if he wants to go for a walk because like, I feel like that would be good, but also I'm kind of lazy. So we'll see, but that's where we're at. Just want to catch you up on the situation. Work was good. It was pretty chill and then everybody showed up at the same time but my boss my boss brought me hot chocolate which was super nice whenever he does he often does latte Wednesdays or latte Tuesdays or whatever but I don't get whipped cream on my hot chocolate so he always says no love and usually the thing will say no love hopelessness and despair or something but today somebody put kittens and puppies xoxo and then i guess the lady who normally does it was there too and so with the jiffy marker she put no love only hate and sorrow it's pretty funny anytime i get one that's like one time i got one it was like optimism and joy and i was like what the heck is this crap because i'm so used to the really funny ones anyways i'm gonna go now otherwise i'm just gonna ramble forever and i'll check in with you in a bit hopefully with my dude done, at least the outline. I haven't decided if I want to color him in or not. I just poked myself in the eye with the fabric, it's fine. Alrighty, so it is 3.30 and I am starting to flag a little bit, like nap time imminent, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna drink some water because my new solution is just drink water. It'll solve anything. Anyways, I finished my Dr. Draken. He's looking pretty cool. 
I might fill in his eyebrow, but I think other than that, I'm just going to leave him black and blue, I guess, because <laughs> that's what he is anyways. Yeah, I probably finished that about half an hour ago, and then I just watched a YouTube video. I don't even remember what it was about. Like, I am losing my brain, but that's fine. I should probably do laundry. That'd be the most responsible thing to do. Like, I could go do laundry and then read for a bit. I don't have a ton of stuff on my list. I need to set up my agenda, potentially edit a video, read, do a little bit of organization, find my cord for my Wii U controller if I can, and then I want to do a face mask because it's self-care Sunday, right? It's Sunday. It is Sunday, so I think that's the plan. I work six days out of seven this week, and I don't know how that happened. <laughs> like, I think it's because one of the days is the first of the next month, and so when we were doing the schedule for this month, it wasn't on the books, so whatever. It's, at least it's not six in a row. I get one day off before the sixth day. <sighs> yeah, I work five in a row and then one day off and then the sixth day. And then I have next Sunday off, I think. So yeah, I'm like, part of me is like, should I just give away one of these shifts? But then the other part of me is like, money. <laughs> you know how it is. Anyway, I think, like I said, I think I should go do laundry because I think that is like the most responsible thing that I could do and then drink more water. <laughs> I was telling my mom like, the reason I try to drink so much water in the morning is because then it's done with. And like, even if I don't drink any more water for the rest of the day, at least I had like a liter and a half in the morning. And I think I had like another half a liter. So I'm not doing that great. I'm only like two liters in. And I think you're supposed to drink like three to four liters, probably if you're working out, which I'm not doing, but it's fine. More water is good. So I'm going to drink more water is the consensus that we have reached. <sighs> but yeah, drink water organize, do laundry, do laundry, do laundry, do laundry. <sighs> I should do laundry. I guess I'll go put in laundry. No, I'm gonna look outside and see if it's starting to rain. If it's starting to rain, I'm not going to, but if it's not, I'll do laundry. There, that has made my decision. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here. I got time. Okay, so my agenda is set up. My laundry is in the dryer. I am adulting real hard right now. I did a couple reps with the weights and my arms already hurt. And when I was walking, my butt was hurting because I did some squats. Not probably as much as I should do. Definitely not as much as I should do, but at least it is a start. My knees are cracking really bad today though. This knee, the right knee, it cracks when I go upstairs. And yesterday the left knee started cracking while I went downstairs, which is kind of rude. And I forgot to tape my knee when I went to work today and it was really bugging me when I was walking around the theater. So that's no fun, but you know, we do what we can. Wow, I tripped on those words a little bit. It was actually really good when I set up my agenda. I actually set it up last week. I just like, I didn't put anything in. I mean, I was puppy sitting for some of the time and I think that's why it is, why it was, but also I was just apparently completely unmotivated last week to do anything. So I've actually got like write a chapter on a couple days and that kind of stuff. I also noticed that like this week I'm working six days, next week I'm not, but the week after I'm working six days as well. And I was like, who picked these shifts? It was me. I get seniority, so I get to pick my shifts first. And I don't know why I like was cool with working six shifts in a row. Like this one, was like I said it was a month thing and then I added a shift. I don't know what the heck happened with the one like mid-February but you know whatever. At least it's only oh wait one two three four five no still it's only five days in a row because <laughs> if it's seven days in a row then it's overtime and that's no no bueno. Well, I mean it's bueno for me but it's no bueno for the theater but it's also not bueno for me because it starts to hurt anyway i'm going to turn off that timer and set a timer on my i keep going to calculator i don't know why and uh keep going oh my goodness stop english 25 minutes hey google cancel timer please okay so I've just set it on my phone and I'm gonna go down now because we're having our roasted potatoes for dinner and the last couple times like I give myself an hour for them and they just seem to take a little bit longer than an hour and it's 5 10 now I want to eat around 6 30 that's my goal I don't know what anybody else's goal is my mom's having a nap her boyfriend is on 
Facebook because that's what he does. <laughs> and so I'm gonna go down, get the spuds ready to go, get them in the oven. Because, I mean, the longer they're in there, the more delicious they are. So, I mean, even if it's a little after 6.30, that is totally fine. And then hopefully by that point, my laundry will be about ready to come out. And then I can fold it and put it away. And we are just having a productive day. My arms are starting to hurt. I should drink more water. I'd say we're at close to math liters, three liters for today. So that's pretty good. Gonna drink more, but that's where we're at for now. And yeah. Okay, so it's Sunday. And I think I mentioned it earlier that we're doing some self-care Sunday. So face mask is on. I'm looking beautiful, I know. Um, I folded all my clothes and put them away, well, and hung them, which is a huge deal for me because I hate putting away laundry. I don't mind folding it, but I hate putting it away and especially if hanging is involved. But I did all that, so I'm very proud of myself. The room is nice and tidy. I got my work clothes ready for tomorrow. And yeah, we're doing all right. One of the things on my list for today is to organize that shelf unit. And I was thinking of that too, and I kind of don't want to. But on the other hand, I'm like, just do it. It will take you five to 10 minutes. Just do it. So I think I might, it's quarter to nine now. So I can probably get those done in like the next 15 minutes. Cause I'm gonna go deep clean everything. I'm just gonna organize it. And then I can blog, which is like the last thing that I need to do today. I haven't done any reading today, but it's never going to be a struggle to make myself read. It's just going to be finding the time. And so I think I'll pass on that today. We'll see though. You never know. Just before bed, I might pop in a couple chapters, but that's where we're at. I just want to update because I feel like it's been a long time. I watched a YouTube video and like had a post dinner coma on the bed a little bit. I didn't fall asleep, but it was really close. So... <laughs> That's where we're at. I think I'm going to organize and tidy over there. I still need to figure out a better solution for my fabric, but probably more importantly for my hoops that are completed and how to store those, but we'll get there eventually. Baby steps. <laughs> how many times do I say that? Anyways, I'm going to go clean this because otherwise I'm just going to keep rambling and never clean it. So I'm going to do that now. Just get rid of the stuff that shouldn't be there. Like I have birthday cards in there. Why? Anyway. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's not perfect, but it's better. I also tried to organize this a little bit more. I forgot about this guy. Pew, pew, pew. And I stuffed my fabrics down as far as I could in there to try to make it look better. It's still kind of messy. And then I also spent some time uh, reading. So I got my reading in. Time-wise, I got my 30 minutes in, but normally I do about five chapters, but I don't know if these chapters are just a little bit longer in this book or if I just was not reading at my optimum speed. I don't know, but it is currently 10 to 9 and um, going to bed is a thing that I should be doing soon. So with that, I am going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning when we do very similar things. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.